Hi, I'm Matt with Rankin Automation, and in this video I'll be covering the basics of pneumatic rotary actuators. Many pneumatic actuators are designed to move objects back and forth along a linear path, but in some applications the work pieces must be twisted or rotated. To do this, a rotary actuator should be used. The most common example is the rotary vane actuator. These actuators have an internal vane which moves when air pushes against it, similar to the way the piston in a piston rod actuator works. However, instead of moving in a straight line, the vane is fixed at one end and moves along a circular path. These actuators typically have a limited but adjustable range of motion. Notice how the vane rotates one way when the air is supplied to one port and the opposite way when air is applied to the other port. Another type of rotary actuator is the rack and pinion. The working principle of a rack and pinion actuator is also very similar to that of a double acting cylinder. Air enters the housing through an intake port, which moves the pistons inside. However, instead of having the rods extending from the pistons, they each have a rack of teeth that mesh with the pinion gear. As a result, when the pistons move, they turn the pinion and produce rotational motion. Visit our website, rankinautomation.com, to see a wide selection of rotary actuators and other pneumatic products.